You may be wondering, where can I find leads, also known as owners of vacant land that you can contact? Well, in the olden days of land flipping, we had to call the county to get a printed list. It took hours to format, and it was really tricky to try to keep track of when using a spreadsheet. It could take a week to get from that list to the mail. Now you can get hundreds of thousands of records in a few clicks. We have a data service built in and you can mail within the hour. Here's how. Let's head over to Investment Dominator to take a look at those leads. You can either go through Find Deals or in this instance, we're going to go through Land and go down to Import to bring in those leads. It will give you choices on how to import your records. In this train, we're gonna take a look at it from the data service. It is the most effective and swift way to get leads into Investment Dominator. Then you're going to choose your criteria. We've already talked about what state and city you might want to look at or state and county. So we're gonna select something simple here. Let's just take a look at Florida and we're gonna keep it small between 5,000 and $300,000. That's our maximum there. Let's estimate our records for this one. So you have roughly 37,000 leads that you can bring into the system, but we don't even need that many. And quietly, I probably don't have that many leads. You can see how many lead credits you have. It will also give you a note if you hover over the question marks, it will tell you exactly what numbers you have available. So it shows that I've already imported a certain number of these leads. It tells me how many records are available and then how many credits I have left. So if I try to put in more than the credits that I have left, I'll be prompted to purchase more credits. If I put in 1,000, then I can do that. It will automatically move these into the prospect status so you can prepare for your mailings. You can also add tags and just click import list. Once your list has been imported, it lets you know exactly how many records have been imported, how many were rejected and for what reason. And then you have the option to view them within the system or generate your mailings. We're gonna go ahead and generate our mailings. All right, so now that we're here where we can generate those mailings, we have several mailings that are ready to go. That means that those uh, records are in prospect uh, status to go and generate those prospect neutral letters. It also tells you why this number may be smaller. You'll generate your documents. Let's just say we're going to print them at home this time. And just like that, in a few clicks, you are uploaded, formatted, and ready to start the mailing process.